In this lesson, we're going to be solving polynomial equations by grouping. So first thing is kind of a recognize that we have four terms. So if we have four terms, there's potential for grouping to work. It doesn't work all the time, but there is potential. So first to do is we're going to break it in half to do the factor by grouping. So what do these have in common that we can factor out? We can factor out an x squared. We'll be left with a 2x minus 1. And in order for factor by grouping to work, we're going to um, try and get another 2x minus 1. So what can we factor out of a negative 8x and a positive 4 to get a positive 2x and a negative 1? So we could factor out a negative 4. So that'll leave, leave us with a 2x minus 1. Factor that out of both of those two pieces, we'll have left a an x squared minus 4 equals 0. Now at this point, you could, since we're solving the equation, we could use a zero product property and just set each piece, each factor equal to 0. Or if we recognize that this is factorable. So we need two terms that multiply to negative 4. We're missing a middle term, so they need to add up to 0. So that would be an x minus 2 and an x plus 2 equals 0. So we set each factor equal to 0. And we're going to get three answers out of this. All right. So on this one, it's going to be the most work. We're going to add 1 to both sides. And we will get a 2x equals 1. And we'll divide both sides by 2. So we'll get x equals 1 half. So there's one solution. And on this one, we're going to add 2 to both sides. So we'll get x equals 2. Second solution. And we will subtract 2. x equals negative 2. Alright, so we get three solutions out of this. We can take those values, plug it back in, and it should all add up to 0. So, let's do one more. So, if we have an x to the third minus 4x squared plus 9x minus 36 equals 0. Again, this one there's potential to factor by grouping. Uh, we have three terms. Always try and get them in the highest exponent down, so put them in order. And we're going to see if we can factor by grouping. So what do they have in common? They both have an x squared we can factor out. That'll leave us with an x minus 4. So we need to get an x minus 4 out of the next group in order to be able to factor by grouping. So what can you factor out of a 9 to make an x and a 36 to make a 4? That's going to be a 9. So now what does this group have, this term have in common with this term? They both have x minus 4s. So we would have an x squared plus 9 left over. Now this one is not factorable because it's a little bit different than this last one. This is known as a difference of squares. So we have to have a subtraction sign and perfect squares separating them in order for this to be factorable. And this is an addition sign, so as soon as we have that, it doesn't matter if these are perfect squares. It has to be a difference of squares, which this is not the case. So we just jump right into setting the factors equal to zero. Doesn't mean it doesn't have solutions, just means it's not factorable. Okay, so first one. We're going to add 4 to both sides, and that's going to get us an x equals 4. So if we plug 4 back in, it should all add up to 0. And we're going to subtract 9 from both sides. So we'll get x squared equal negative 9. And we need to get rid of the square, so we'll square root both sides. And x 
is going to equal a plus and a minus. Anytime we bring in the square root to solve, we're always going to get a positive and a negative of this. And this, uh, we can square root the 9, but the square root of a negative is an imaginary. So, different category of number. So same thing, you could actually plug this back in and it will all add up to zero on both of those two numbers. So those are our three solutions. And that was solving polynomial equations by grouping.